Good morning guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Today I want to do an exclusive video on my queen, my snow queen nectarine. I know I've talked about this beauty quite a lot in some of the videos that I've done lately and I haven't shown you guys this year an update on how wonderful this tree is doing. I did a pot it just recently. I didn't do a video about it unfortunately. I'll try to link the um, video up above from last year what this nectarine looked like. It was in a black container and it was actually slanted which I wasn't very happy about. So when I, I, I potted it I made sure that the trunk was upwards and that it was uh, more of a balance and it looks so much prettier it made a huge difference once i did that tiny little adjustment and as you guys can see look at that okay the first year that i tried this fruit oh my god it was amazing i fell in love with this nectarine i mean uh most of the nectarines are amazing but this nectarine is the sweetest nectarine i've ever tried and as you can see it fruited even though I transplanted it while it was in the flowering stage. I posted a lot of pictures of this tree on my Instagram. If you guys follow me, um, go ahead and search that. If you don't, I'm going to put the link to my Instagram down below. And um, <laughs> you guys can see what this tree looked a few weeks ago. But as you guys can see, Lily, Lily. <laughs> as you guys can see, it looks amazing. Um, I absolutely love it and I'm afraid I'm going to have to thin it out a little bit here pretty soon. Although these nectarines don't seem to be that close, I think they'll be fine. It, I feel like it's the fruit that set, um, set pretty evenly like this one. It's about maybe four inches apart from each other. And here's another one these are falling off and they obviously didn't make it which is fine honestly if i get like 20 oh, 10 to 20 fruits out of this tree i would just be so happy because each each fruit is just amazing look at that just gave you guys another view this was the same tree that i mentioned that i um used the ib organic product when i was having sunburn it I thought it was gonna die on me when I found the sunburn. Um, it was right here, as you can see it, and right there. And as you can see that by using that, it definitely made a huge difference, and it stopped the sunburn damage that it was cause causing. So I'm definitely gonna have to apply it. I should have done it this year, but I just didn't get around to it. But um, next year for sure, I'm gonna do it because look, definitely. Um, want to protect this beauty that I absolutely love and you know this was one of the first trees that flowered and the the bumblebees were going crazy over it because it was probably one of the very few flowers around where they can get some nectar and um, they just loved it and they did an amazing job at um, pollinating my fruit <laughs> see that Anyways, guys, here's an update and an exclusive video on my nectarine tree. It's doing fantastic. I'm in love with this tree, and I'm surprised that I haven't done any videos on it even sooner. <laughs> but I did want to share with you guys. It's been up potted into a wine barrel, a plastic wine barrel, because it was in a container that was slightly smaller than this. And believe it or not, it actually um, fruited the last two years um, since I've had it and it's doing amazing guys so amazing and let me just give you a perspective of how big it's getting so i tucked it in here in this corner it's gonna get plenty of sun i might uh, flip it over flip it over for a little bit just so the other side can get some sun as well and yeah pretty much if you have a small little space in a corner where it gets some sun and you want some beautiful green lush to your landscape this could be one of the trees you can add this is a dwarf tree and uh, as you can see it's grown in a container like most of my most of my container <laughs> fruit garden anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope that you found it informative i hope that it inspired you to get a fruit tree and even though you don't have a lot of space you can start growing it in a container and start little you, you never know one day you might move and have already a three to four year old mature tree that's ready to go in the ground once you move or you can just continue to have them living and producing fruit for you in a container all right guys you guys have a blessed day see you on the next one